Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am going to be showing you how to knit this lovely versatile cardigan slash cropped jumper. It can be cropped, it can be long, this is just very adaptive. You can adapt it however you want. You can do short sleeve, long sleeve, cuffs, no cuffs. Like I've also shown you how I've done this so I've also got one that's got a little um, edging on it like so and then it has knitted here whereas this one we've created eyelets um, then I also have another pink one this is in the newborn size then this is three to six months this one's one to three months or not three months and this one I've done with frills on the cuffs and the bottom and then I've just got a plain knitted one like you can change it you can do so many different types you can just do what you want with them you can make them longer shorter anything um if you want me to film a video on how to do the frills i will do that like you can just do all sorts um so yeah this is the one we knit today you start knitting it up at the top and then you separate it into five different sections and then you knit the sleeves and then after pick up stitches and knit it in the round um to then after just soak the sleeves and do the eyelets if you don't know how to do the eyelets um it will all be linked down in the description i will have the written pattern in the link in the description box but apart from that if you've done the previous video with me you will already know how to do the eyelets and knitting it's pretty basic you just need to know how to slip a stitch knit purl and pretty much that's it uh decrease increase everything like that but i explain it very well throughout the video and also um in detail in the blog post so yeah this is it and i really hope you enjoy the video and i will see you now okay so as soon as i'm going to be knitting the um three to six months i'm going to have to cast on 88 stitches therefore i'm going to leave quite a long tail uh at this point i'm going to say that if you are not familiar with casting on and you are very um unexperienced with knitting shall we say i would definitely recommend for you to firstly knit my first pattern and then work up seeing as this is going to be kind of an intermediate pattern i would say it is very easy but you do need to know the basics so we're going to start off by casting on um the amount of stitches you want for the size that you are going to do i'm going to be doing three to six months so i'm going to cast on 88 whereas if you're doing premature 68 one to three months 76 88 for three to six months and so on i will have um all the sizes linked down below from premature to 12 months so i'm just going to cast on 88 stitches whoops two okay so now i have cast on my 88 stitches and now we have to do the same thing for every size and what it is is just knit two rows so we just knit our front our back and then on the third row which will be the second of the front side we're going to open the buttonhole so i'm just going to go that so i'm just going to do my first cast on row and back again and then i will get back to you Okay, so we are now on the third row. We've got the tail at the front and now is when we have to start placing the markers. We are placing the markers in order to um, yarn over to add on stitches to create this part here, which we have at the front and the back. Um, here is now when you decide what you want to do. If you want to just normal knit and it ends up looking like this, which I think is really, really pretty. Or we're gonna do an eyelet on this video um you could also do stocking stitch knit on the front and purl on the back there's like such a variety of things that you can do i think these um little cardies are so versatile because you can do all sorts like you've seen earlier you can add frills you could add this at the border you could you can just do whatever with them and they look so really pretty dressy like classy they're just really nice so yeah yeah so on this video we're going to be doing eyelets but if you want to just knit if it's your first one you are maybe just better knitting. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to do eyelets. So, 
I'm going to place my markers. Okay, so we're going to need eight markers and I'm going to place the markers on my work, which is 88 stitches for three to six months. But if you're doing any other sizes, um, in the link in the description, there will be a chart. Um, there's going to be the written pattern and on the written pattern, there is a chart which tells you where to place markers depending on the amount of stitches you have and the um, size you are knitting for. So for me, it is 14 stitches, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, place a marker. I've just lost that. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. Okay, so I've placed one marker here. Then we do two stitches and another marker. Like so. Then we do 13, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 1, 13. And place another marker, two, and add another marker. Twenty-six. So this is the back part. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, two, twenty-four, twenty-six. Two. Thirteen, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, two, and I should have fourteen at the end. Whoops. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Brilliant. So we've just, we should have the right amount of stitches for the chart and if you don't um just triple check the amount of stitches and everything like that and if not comment down below because I may have got it wrong like nobody's perfect okay so this is now our third row this is where we are going to start doing the pattern and also we are going to insert a buttonhole on every single pattern we um sorry on every single size we are going to insert the buttonhole on the third row and every 16 rows which is every eight of these bubbles so so we're going to knit three stitches so i slip the first stitch as you know on my knitting i slip the first stitch to just make a very neat edge so i'm going to slip one knit knit so i will have three stitches on my right um needle and then i'm going to yarn over which is basically just bring the wool to the front like so and then knit two stitches together and that's one buttonhole made so this is what we've got. these five stitches are what we're going to repeat every 16 rows okay so i've now reached the marker we yarn over because we're on the front of the work slip the marker slip the next stitch and knit two it's kind of tricky but it's easy once you get the hang of it and then we go back well we go back we don't go back then we count back to the third stitch back which is the the second slip stitch we did in between the markers so we pick it up and we pass it over these two and then we just end up with two with two stitches and a loop then we slip our marker yarn over and knit to the next stitch I mean to the next marker, not the next stitch. Okay, so we are now here again at the next marker. So we yarn over, slip the marker, slip the stitch. Knit two, slip the slip stitch over the two stitches that is not even in focus this camera okay we'll focus it the next time slip the marker back yarn over knit okay we have reached the marker so we yarn over slip the marker slip the stitch knit one knit two like so and then if you can see we look back to the slip stitch so we've got two that we knitted and one that we slipped so the slipped stitch we pass it over these two like so and then we end up with two stitches we slip the marker oops we yarn over oops drop the marker 
we put the marker back on, we slip the marker, we yarn over, and we just knit. So we slip the first stitch and knit the marker. We reach the marker, I just knit, slip the marker, purl two. Sorry about the dog barking. Slip the marker, knit. I didn't just yarn over, did I? I just, no, I didn't. Thought I'd yarned over then. Uh, carry on knitting. So these are the six rows we have to repeat until we have the um, width of the underarm is 11 centimeters for three to six months, nine centimeters for one to three, 12 for six to nine. It will all be linked, um, written, sorry, in the blog post link below. But yeah, I'm just gonna carry on and I will get back to you once I have my desired centimeters. Okay, so I'm on the last row and I thought I would just nip in and show you how I measure the underarm. So for three to six months, this has to be um, 11 centimeters of underarm. For one to three months, it will be nine and six to nine, 12 and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so this is how I measure it. I knit to where the V are, the, the V are, the V is for the underarm, which would be this one, which is, which is this one here, sorry. Um, so I measure it. And it is 11 as you can tell and then I just I'm gonna carry on it into the end and then we're going to divide it into front back and sides sorry that was pearl so I just finish my row with pearl to knit to the end oops Okay, so as you can see here, you cannot actually stretch it out enough to measure the 11 and that's why I measured it as I showed you. So now what we have to do is split our work into front, side, chest, or uh, both sides, yeah, whatever. Let's just, like, give me a second. Okay, so we are now going to split our work into five pieces. So we split it into the two back ones, two sleeves, and one back or front, the chest, shall we call it, depending on which way you want to wear it, either this way or this way. So we set, separate it into the two button band, so the one with the buttonholes, the one with the buttons, the chest or the back, and the two sleeves. So, so for this part we either need a massive safety pin, well five massive safety pins, um, to separate the work onto, or if you are like me, you'd rather save some yarn, um, and a massive needle, well it doesn't have to be this big, but a needle. Um, I'd rather use the wool than the safety pins because I feel like this weights the work down and we don't want to like misshape it in any form. So what we're going to do is I'm going to just extend my, this, we can, well we can cut this. I'm going to cut this but I'm going to cut it rather long so then I can knit to the underarm so then I don't have to sew the tail end in at this side rather than at the underarm. It's a step I always miss out, so I'm just going to cut that extra long, okay? And then I am going to get my needle and I'm going to thread on just a chunk of, sorry. Okay, now I've got my needle and I'm just going to thread on a chunk of my yarn, just any yarn, a length of it. And I am going to now thread these stitches onto the yarn the thread of yarn so three four we just separate it like so so this is going to be the one with the buttonholes on and we are going to put it on here like so and we're going to do that until the middle stitch of our button our 
eyelets. Sorry, I couldn't think of the name. Whoops, need to drop a stitch. So here to the centre one of our eyelets and then we're just going to pull like so and tie that in a knot. Then we're going to pick up another thread and now it's time to do the armholes or the sleeves. So we pick up the leftover stitch from the two in the middle, from the two in the um, eyelet. just tie that again in a knot it's up to you if you want to do a knot to then undo or to cut or to whatever we just tie in a knot it's probably easier and less fat faffy if you just use um, a safety pin but like I say I feel like it weights down the work a lot more than the thread does and once you've done it once with a thread I think it makes it a lot easier The sleeves are the only ones that have to be the same, so I'm now going to just count 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 24, 26, 28, 32, 34, 36, 38, 40, 42, 44, 46, 48, 50, 52 and 53. And I've just written that down. So I've got 53 stitches on this sleeve. And I just want to make sure when I get to the other sleeve. That I also have 53 stitches. And if there's any extra stitches. You either put them to the back or to the chest. It does not really matter. But you just have to have the same amount of uh, stitches on both sleeves. Because it's important that they are the same. Okay so now it looks like this. It's not exactly flat. Just because my thread's too short. Um, it is now time to pick up a sleeve and start knitting the sleeves that's what we're gonna knit first I knit one sleeve at a time but there are people that knit two at a time if you think you can which you would knit with the outside and then you will get the inside thread or with two balls of wool and you just knit two sleeves at a time I mean at the same time so what we have to do is find where the um, our yarn was attached or our wool and it is here so this way so our needle was like this facing this way so now we have to pick up the sleeve say we're going to knit this sleeve over here we have to follow the needle round and it will be this way you always have to make sure the point is facing the where the yarn was attached which for me is here so i have to insert my needle like so so as um to do this in order to do this I'm going to unpick the knot that I've just done or cut it. I think I'm going to cut it today. I usually unpick it, but yeah, we're just going to cut it like so. And then I said the needle was going this way, so I just, I'm going to do it this way because I'm right handed. I just thread the needle through. I hope you can see that. You just thread it through and it picks up. You just have to be very patient to not drop any stitches there we go like so where's my last stitch here and here the last stitch is the one you have to make sure you pick up because it's very tricky to find and then now I have it picked up, I just hold my wool and don't let it slide off the needle and pull your thread out and that's it, we've done. We have, we have, we now have our sleeve on our needle. So now we have to calculate the decreases. How many decreases do I have to do? How often? In order to shape our sleeve. Okay, so I'm going to try and explain as well as I can how we are going to calculate the decreases like I did on the first romper okay so this 
is for our sleeve. So our sleeve is, oh, is this pen not going to write? Our sleeve is this shape, or we want it to be this shape. So up at the top, from here to here, I have measured my sleeve and it is approximately, this is all very approximate, 21 centimetres, I would say. So mine is 21 centimetres, which I have calculated, we counted them earlier, if you remember, and it is 53 stitches. Everyone will have a different amount, no doubt. From here to here, I would say that an average three to six month old baby is about three, uh, 13 centimetres, sorry, not three, 13 centimetres, we are gonna say. Um, so we have to calculate how many stitches would be 13 centimetres so we know how many to decrease down to. So in order to calculate that, if you remember from our first pattern we did, we have to calculate x. So if tw in 21 centimetres there are 53 stitches, in 13 centimetres there shall be x. So we do x equals 53 times um 13 53 times 13 divided by 21 and we've got my calculator this works out so we do sorry about that we do 53 times 13 divided by 21 and that is 32.8 so we're going to say 33 stitches so in 21 centimetres there are 53 stitches and in 13 centimetres there are approximately 33 stitches, okay? So now we have calculated the width of our sleeve that we have to achieve. So now we are going to calculate how many stitches we need to decrease in order to achieve the 33 stitches. So we get 53 stitches minus 33 stitches and that is obviously 30 stitches. No, it isn't. Yes, yeah, no, it isn't. It's 20 stitches. 20 stitches. Okay, so we need to decrease 20 stitches in order to achieve our 33. So we need to, 20 decreases would be 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. One, two, we would have to decrease um, because you decrease at the beginning and the end of each row, so it would be 10 decreases at the beginning and end. <coughs> we would do 10 decreases at either side, which would be a total of 20, okay? So now we need to know how many stick, uh, how many rows for our length of our sleeve. So approximately, again, this is all just approximate. The length of our sleeve is going to be about 18 centimeters for um, three six months. Hang on, I have a chart here, which I might say different. We have a length of 18 centimeters. Okay, so our the length of our sleeve is going to be 18 centimeters eventually. So what we have to now calculate is how many rows we are going to have to do in order to knit the 18 centimeters. So for this, we are going to calculate about five um, centimeters of our work, and and for me, it is equivalent to 12 bubbles, which is 24 rows. So five centimeters equals 12 bubbles which is 24 rows um so we now need to calculate how many centimeter how many rows there are in 18 centimeters which is the length so we now calculate 12 times 18 divided by 5 and i've lost my calculator 12 times 18 divided by 5 is 42, 43.2, so we're going to say 43, 43 total. Total in the height, 
Okay, so there are 43 bubbles in total in the whole sleeve. So now we need to know how ev uh, how many, or oh, every how many bubbles. Okay, so if there are 43 bubbles in total in the whole 18 centimeters of the sleeve, we now need to calculate every how many bubbles we need to decrease. And for this, we're just going to get our 43 bubbles and divide them by the amount of decreases we need to do, which is 20. Well, it is 10 actually. So we get, sorry, 43, which is our total, total of bubbles divided by our 10 decreases that we have to do. And how many is it? That is 4.3. So it's four. 4.3 but we get rid of the 0.3 so it's 4 so every 4 bubbles I decrease <sighs> decrease so basically decrease at beginning and end of every 4th bubble which is our eighth row during a total of 43 bubbles which is 86 rows and we shall end up with a width of 13 centimeters. I do hope you did understand that. If not, comment down below and I will help you or message me on Instagram and we shall calculate it together. Maths was never my strong point, but this rule of three to calculate the X is just really easy. So yeah, it's a bit mm, of a kerfuffle, but the main aim of the game is you calculate how many stitches by how many centimeters. You calculate how many stitches you need for those centimeters and then you calculate depending on your height, the amount of decreases, etc. But if you follow this guide and repeat it with me and do it with your um, numbers, I'm sure you can work it out. But like I say, if not, make sure to comment. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm just going to start knitting and on my eighth row, um, I'm going to decrease. Okay, so as you can see, I am now on my fourth bubble, which is my seventh row on the front and my eighth on the back. So it is now time to decrease. So what I'm going to do is just slip my first stitch because that's what I do on every row, as you know if you've been knitting with me for any time. And then I just knit two together. So slip one, knit wise, knit two together. So that's my first decrease. And now I'm just going to knit to the last three stitches. Um, so then I can do the other decrease which is just exactly the same, knit two together, um, knit one because I do knit my last stitch. There's some people that slip their last stitch purlwise and then knit it at the beginning on every row but I don't. I slip my first stitch knit wise and just knit. Okay, so as you can see, I've got three stitches left, so what I do is knit two together knit-wise. Whoops. There we go. Knit two together just normally and knit my last stitch, like so. And then the back of the work, I just knit it as usual. And I just repeat that every four bubbles, which is every on every seventh row. So as of now, when I'm back at the front of the row, it will be on the seventh. So I would knit six rows and then on the seventh, do another decrease, knit normally on the back, which would be the eighth. And again, another seven rows and so on until we have done a total of eight, six rows, which is 43 bubbles. And our work should measure approximately 18 centimeters, as we said. So I'll see you back in a minute. It now depends also if you want to do eyelets on the cuffs or you want to do stocking stitch or you want to do rib or you just want to leave them in plain knits so you can fold them up. It's completely 
your choice so it depends on what you want to do as how long you knit it if you want to do a cuff on the edge so you might knit 15 centimeters and then do the last three in rib or I don't know it's up to you so you have to start bearing that in mind as you're doing your sleeve okay so i am back i have knit quite a lot of my sleeve i am now on my 34th i'm going to be starting it measures about 15 centimeters or so 15 and a half and i'm now going to start decreases so i've got 10 more rows of bubbles left so 20 rows and for those i'm going to do um eyelets but i'm going to do them different to how we did these so what we do is we have to have a multiple of five plus two and i currently have how many stitches did we say 47 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 22 24 26 28 30 32 34 36 37 sorry 37 so i have 35 which is a multiple of five plus two so i have 37 stitches remaining and I'm now going to do the eyelets. I'm not, I've got two more decreases to do at either side. But I'm not going to do them because these eyelets do um, shrink the wrist. Like it's going to tie them in anyway. So what we're going to do is knit two. No we're not. Okay so to start the sleeve I'm going to start it on the outside. So I have my tail at the front and I'm going to start. So we do purl two. Slip one pearl wise, pearl one, so it's pearl two. There we go, I think you can see that. Let me just shimmer up. Okay, so I've pearled two and then I bring my wool back, slip one knit wise, knit two. Like so. Oh, I'm not in focus. There we go. And then I'm gonna slip the slip stitch over the last two like we did before. Purl two again, purl two, slip one, knit two, pass the slip stitch over. Purl two, slip one, knit two, pass the purl stitch, I mean the slip stitch over. Purl two, slip one, knit two, pass the slip stitch over those two and then we turn our work and now on the front we have to knit these two stitches because they are knit stitches as you can see and here we have pearls but we have two so we're going to purl one, yarn over purl wise, purl ones to create three so we always have two, three, two, three, two, three so slip one knit wise, knit one and then we go purl one yarn over purl wise which is from here which is where you are with your purl you just go round and purl another one if you've done my previous patterns you will already know how to do this sequence of four so we go purl yarn over purl knit two purl yarn over purl knit two You can see the stitches that need purling and the ones that need knitting, it's pretty easy. And then on the third row out of this sequence of four, we need to purl the pearls and knit the knits. So these are the pearls, the ones that have a stitch that goes down and then a stitch that goes across. So they go down and across, that would be purl two, knit three because they're like just straight down. Purl two because they're these that have the across, knit three, purl two, knit three. And we just do that to the end. So purl two, knit three. Purl two, knit three. Purl two, knit three. Purl two. We're just going to do again as it says, but in this case, instead of purl three, it is knit two, purl three, knit two, purl three. So, knit two, purl three. 
Okay, so I have finished both sleeves. How nice are they looking? I also cast it off stretchy so then it has a little bit of stretch to it. If you can't remember how to do this, we did it in the previous video, but it will be explained in the blog post. All you have to do is yarn over between stitches and then you pass two over instead of one. So now it's time to pick up the stitches round the waist and we pick them all up at the same time, not round the waist, round the body. Um, so we have to see obviously where our cast off was, not our cast off, the ball of wool. This is the part that's attached to the ball of wool so I need to do it obviously in the direction of the wool if you remember. So I need to pick up here first. And now we're going to pick up this other side like so and then the part that attached to our yarn would be at the end. So we basically have to have both sleeves on the outside like so. And now I'm just going to pick this one up. Okay and now if you remember we left where our buttonholes were and we um, put them all on hold. We left a really long tail here and it was so then I can knit to the arm pit area and then join my yarn. So then the tail ends up in the armpit area and it's easier to hide than when we cast on here, if that makes any sense. So now I'm going to knit for about, I don't know, a couple of centimetres I'd say, because I then want to do this um, also around the rim. So we have to have a multiple of five plus two. It will all be explained in more detail in the blog post down below. But yeah, I'm just gonna knit for like two or three centimeters and then do the exact same as we've done on the cuffs um, round the rim, seeing as it's gonna be just a short cardi. Also, I just wanted to remind you, remind you, sorry, that you need to remember to do the buttonholes if you're going to do any more and everything like that. Just remember buttonholes for in case you are doing a long one, if you're doing a romper, you could also turn this into a romper, carrying on and then doing decreases. I could show you how to do that, seeing as I do have a romper. Here is a romper I did using the exact same pattern, only I did um, leaves, I haven't yet sewn it up. Um, but this is the exact same pattern, but doing leaves, I carried on the buttons all the way down the back and then um decreased into a romper and i think it's really cute let me know if you would like a pattern to this um but i just it's just as an idea like you can create a romper out of it you can create a cardigan you can create a short cardigan like the ones i'm doing you can do it with little bobbles you can do it with plain knit like the, it's so versatile and that's why i love it and it's also really quick to make once you get the hang of it okay so i've now finished the piece okay so this is the finished piece i have finished it sewn it up and popped on the buttons you will already have seen it in the um intro of the video but this is the finished piece so i knitted i did have space to put under the button here but i thought it was just too close together and i preferred it like so um yeah the cuffed sleeves i just did a normal cast off at the bottom but i did the stretchy one here it will be in more detail in the blog post uh yeah sewn on my buttons these are from uh amazon i will also link them down below for in case you want to get the same ones these are in the shade 13 and they just seem to go with every single color choice and this is the other side to it i think it's so pretty you can wear it in such different ways style it differently knit it differently i'm just really happy with it but anyway this is the knitted product i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did smash the thumbs up make sure to tag me on instagram or send me your piece through a instagram direct so i can share it with the other people that watch my videos i would love to see what you knit also follow me on instagram if you don't mind i will follow you back and like your pictures and that's about it Thank you so much for watching this video. I will be back very soon with another one, seeing as I'm going to knit the eyelet bonnet to match. Um, and yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.